Dune is a 1965 science fiction novel by Frank Herbert. Many people have tried to make a movie adaptation of this beautiful work of art, but the best one so far in my opinion and many others is 2021's adaptation by Denny Villeneuve. Look, you might say with the progression of filmmaking technology and CGI work, Previous attempts would have been better, but it's worth mentioning. Denny Villeneuve tried to use practical effects as much as possible. And we're not here to talk about technicalities of filmmaking technology. Instead, let's briefly talk about the process of world building and the architecture of spaces that portrays the beautiful scenery in Dune 2021. Just to be clear, the focus here is the overall architectural form and how they are shown to build up characteristics for each nation in the story. The first one is the spaceport in the ocean planet Caladan. There's the terminal building and there's the greeting platform. Also, you can see two hexagon-shaped towers in the cliffside here. Now, the architectural form is repeated in the buildings on Caladan, as you will see similar towers in the main mansion of the Duke. But back here, you can see there's an area for spaceships to land, and there's the military parade platform here. Focusing on the terminal, there's an air traffic, or in this case, space traffic control tower in the middle of the building, that's on top of what we can assume is the terminal hall. These two separate buildings here is for aesthetic, we think, but it can function as some sort of residency for the military too. Alright, next one is the House of the Duke. And as you can see, it's pretty similar to the Spaceport Terminal building, but the topography is different here. The main mansion is in the mountain rift and behind it is a couple of buildings that might be the staff residency or housings for the Royal Guard. And now something odd happens here. There are two other buildings which one of them we can assume is an aviation dock. And there is another that it's not clear what it's used for. Especially because it has some kind of modern style compared to the terminal building and the mansion. Perhaps they use traditional concepts for the residential buildings and the same concept for the terminal building in order to show their heritage and culture to newcomers. Let's move on. The third one is the Guidi Prime Spaceport. Other than being super moody and grim, you really can't tell what's going on in this scene, but we'll try anyway. There's a dome-shaped building with huge mechanical doors at the top, which led us to believe weather must be rough for airplane hangars to sit out in the open. The scale of this building must be huge. Otherwise, we have a lot of unnecessary consoles coming out of it from all sides. At the base of the building, there are three openings that is connected to what appears to be an over-the-top transportation system. The third world is Arrakis, and we want to talk about the fortress stronghold which is the primary building in the city. The ziggurat shape is almost a reminder to pyramids, and it has many levels sitting on top of each other. Dune production designers have done a great job blending the architecture with the environment, and it's best seen here on Arrakis. When helicarriers approach the city, you almost can't tell there are buildings in the background for a second, but they get closer and they land here in the courtyard at the main entrance. Obviously, there's a lot going on here, but just like Guidi Prime, you almost can't tell which is which. The objective here was to make a building that can give protection from heat killing sun and sandstorm and giant worms of course. So it makes sense for the architectural form to appear reticent. We'll let the visual work speak for themselves. And finally, let's talk about the ecological testing station. Now in the movie, we don't see an exterior shot of this facility, but interior shots were really beautiful and we had to talk about this one. This facility has everything lined up for a sandy desert landscape, from underground access tunnels to secret passages, an open underground hall, also there's the labs, the library and an underground helicarrier landing platform. So that's been it, we've just started publishing our contents and we will be here every week with new contents. This was the architecture of Dune, my name is Abba and thank you for watching.